Yeah. We are on our way to oh, Baker. We are on our way to Baker. Yeah, we're in Bakersfield. No, we're not way. Started talking. I'm sorry about that, people. What? Okay. Oh no, it's bananas! Oh! What's the matter, huh? We have stopped. I'm gonna comb my hair. Oh. Then you're gonna roll up the window? That's how I'm gonna fix my hair now. Then I'm gonna take my hair down too, then. Everybody fix no, your no, hair right now. Get yeah. on the pants and run first. Oh, I have to go worse than her. Why? Sorry, Grandma gets dibs. I get dibs. Grandma gets dibs. I'm sorry for doing this, but Mary, turn the camera on. This is how you film, Cindy. Put your hand right in here, okay? And put their hand right there. Look inside and follow me wherever I go, okay? Okay. This is my Uncle Ray's work, okay? See? He sells cars, fixes cars, anything you want. Come this way. Here. Where are you? Okay. Okay. As you can see, come here. Come on. Come on, little girl. Take a glance over there. That's the area where they store all their um extra parts. Okay. And that and in there and in that garage across the way. Okay. He rented that wow. little white bin right there. He rented that. Or no. I don't know. Well, you kept that. Okay. 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 Let's keep looking in. No, nope. look in. Look in. This is his workshop. A little. See, here is some of the machinery. We're going to move into that. The machinery. Some more machinery. Some more machinery. Okay, back outside. <laughs> My turn. Give me that yeah. camera. Sorry about doing this to you, Kamala, but. 
This is my uncle's work, Carissa. There's my mom. What? We have to take pictures of you guys. Okay, wait a minute. I didn't realize it's still recording. Mom, look at us. Mom. Here we are in Bakersfield. Mom, look, look. Mom, look. There's old Michael Yard's Mom. ass. Mom. Hi, Mike. Hi. In the wrong light. Too dark. Yo, camera hogger. Oh, there's Cindy and Mary. Sing our song. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Wait. Here we are at Helms Auto Supply in Bakersfield, California. Here we have two young ladies who want to sing a song. I'm Mary. This is... Not yet. Hold on. I'm Mary. This is Cindy. We are part of the cleanup crew. And we have a song for you. We are the cleanup crew. Okay, stop. Stop. Now I want to hear it one more time. A little louder together. A little faster. We are the clean up crew. We will clean your yard. We have low prices that you can afford. And our motto is there's no mess we can't clean up except for dogs. <laughs> Okay, go on in, girls. Go on in, girls. Go on in, I'll follow you. Okay, I just want to get a little action there. There's Mike in in the shadows. I can't see him. Um, I think I can see the name of this one as well. Here. Come here. Mary, you want to go take Cindy in and show, um, show Uncle Ray's office? This way, Mom, look at zoom in on the kitty cat. Just a second. I don't have this in focus, I don't think. Hold on. See, this is Ray's office out here at Greenfield. No, Mom, focus in on the kitty cat. Zoom in on the kitty cat. Oh, come on now. Do you really think that we need to zoom in on yes. the kitty cat? Why? I love cats. Oh, that's ridiculous, Mary. Plus, this is not in focus. It's all out of focus. Oh. Okay, it's not in uh, Mom, we'll be back. Bye. Mike's here. Huh? 
They're getting these birthday pictures. All right. Your you girls want some cobbler? Mm -hmm. I'll take some cobbler, whatever it is. Oh, I'm sure you can. Yeah, let's play one. That was pie, huh? Monster! Just kidding, Cindy. There's Anna Iva. Oh. Hello! Since you was a baby? Yeah. Before? There's Michael who doesn't Before. deserve being on film. Was There's Oliver! Where'd you meet your dad? Where was Alicia? Where'd you meet your dad at? I don't know. I forget. She I told me, you. but I can't remember where I was. Who was it? You remember? Thanks. There's Grandma. Okay, what's that? <laughs> Something huge. No, it's just her mom. Yeah. Her mom came over on okay. the phone. There's Grandma who looks dazed uh, and confused. Boat ran from the uh, communists. The boat, oh, the boat people? Her mom told me. Oh, that was a terrible trip. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 She said she was... Her mother was so brave. I can believe yeah, it. Yeah, I guess. There's Cindy, who's too close to the camera. I like to have camera. a brave friend like that. Yeah. She said she was she so afraid of the, the, uh, the, the communist that she would rather drown. Come here. She was with afraid me of this way. She would Cindy. rather drown than this stay with is the kid, Sean. How many of you want cobbler? No. Here's the bathroom. And I don't know what this is. I said bedroom of some sort. And there's our game that we're going to play right now. Little kitchen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's Uncle Ray, birthday boy. The dining room. Where'd you go? Yeah. Thanks a lot. I tell you, it was hot in hot weather. Drank a lot of liquor. Sarah Cindy, getting big zoom up on her nose. Look at that. I didn't know she was coming to a birthday party, did you? Mm -hmm. Did you find hey, out? She did. Cindy. Don't do Look that. Look at that nose. <laughs> A monster! No, it's just my mom with a few presents. Ray? Hmm. Must be going out. Bye! <coughs> Look at those presents. Let's see if there's some things that have to do with x ray here. Hmm. Nope, still. Hmm. So, ooh, a double the presents. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Double the presents. Double the Michaels. Ah! Oh, there's no x ray. Ray? Bye. Happy birthday, dear Raymond. Happy birthday to you. Oh, I didn't see that. You walked right away. I told you not to go away. Oh. Boy, good, Raymond Young. Good, good. That must be for my mama, huh? <laughs> your mama. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. What'd you give me? <laughs> Spell your name wrong, even. Mm. A disc. It's my real family. We surprise you. Hmm. What color? This is the day which the Lord hath made. Rejoice and be glad in it. God bless you on your birthday. Dear Ray, God bless you on your special day and each day all year through. God grant that faith and hope and love will always come to you. God be your friend. Your guiding light forever on life's way. God keep you in his love and care today and every day. Happy birthday. Love you to learn. Well, Vern, you know how to pick out cards, don't you? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can I tell them a, a Yeah, go ahead and open another one, then I want to tell a story to everybody about the horse. Mm -hmm. About a horse? Mike, you're a good boy. <laughs> Let me read your cards. <laughs> a thousand dollar check, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, I opened the gift first. The gift, the gift, the gift. The gift goes with the, uh, the, the gift card. first. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know. Oh, piano. Oh, here piano. it is. Piano. 
Dear Ray, happy birthday and many more. Love you, Laverne. July 30, 1995. Mm. Today in, in 30, yeah, isn't it? Well, we're celebrating what, what if I don't make it? Then what? Well, we can take it all back. Then we'll be all wasted. <laughs> we can take it back, you know. Then you'll have, uh, if you don't make it, well, uh, mm, you can say that you almost made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how nice. A box of Christmas cards. Thank you. You're welcome. Get welcome. No, it's not either. It's a belt. Oh, you got belt. me tape, huh? A belt. Oh, good. Oh, wow. Thank you. Nice. Oh, the that's Benson's. that one you saw me down. I heard it playing. Church in the Wildwood. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, that's a good one. Having the car and play it. Okay, open your other one. All right. Where's my Christmas cards at? Box of Christmas cards. Oh, you didn't get a Christmas card. Oh. See, that wasn't Christmas cards. No, this is birthdays. Christmas. I bought the tape, and then I went in there to get some paper to see what I had that I could get for a man, you know, and I thought, <laughs> how appropriate. Mm. <laughs> well, well, right along. I already had it. Oh, boy. <laughs> of course, I remembered your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and Mary and Cindy haven't seen it, though. Did you see that? No. What does it say? What Happy birthday, Uncle Ray. What <laughs> What do I look like? Some kind of fool. <laughs> 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 Happy birthday, Uncle Ray. Happy birthday, Uncle Ray. Happy birthday, Uncle when you get up for church and you put on a green shirt. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Some kind of tool? Yes. Want to look ten years younger? Just press the magic button one time. Now look in the car, open the car, and look in the mirror inside. No! Oh. <laughs> let me see, let's see. What, what, what? what? what oh, well, what? oh no, you must have pressed it twice. <laughs> can pick out the cards, can't you? Wow. Is that adorable? Yeah. Wow. That's terrific. One time it says, oh, you must touch it. Is this a hint to take a bath? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. Mm. Smell under your armpits. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't eat them in the onions. It's kind of small, but we thought it went with the card. Mm. The baby. <laughs> oh, honey, look here. Yeah. You got me a lunch bucket. <laughs> ah, well, it disappeared. We decided get, she decided to get you one. Did you Did you know the lunch bucket I had? I've been carrying with that old uh, lard bucket. <laughs> Is that what you got there? Well, I heard that you lost it somewhere. Uh, I think I've seen it at work again. Oh, oh yeah. Well. <laughs> you can use it for well, that. That's a nice one. You set that right <laughs> in the fridge. Yeah. You'll get it. Set that right in the fridge. I think this is more appropriate for a man. Open it up and see. Yeah. On this side, I think. Oh, there you go. Yeah, look here. Sandwich box. Isn't yeah, that neat? Sandwich, sandwich box. box. Oh, hey, it's got a pudding holder or put a big piece of pie in it or something. Yeah. yeah. Pudding. Pudding, little pudding in it. And the, and the towel is to go with it so that you can wipe your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's neat. She says, oh, we'll have to go get oh, some nice, paper. Huh? And she's off. Yeah. So I said, well, you grab it with a towel. Can use. Which I thought was a much better idea. <laughs> that is something. Okay. Well, that's yeah. nice. Thank you. No need. Oh, here's one for Mom. Yeah, I forgot. I didn't forget you. Uh, I thought of you. Here's that thousand dollars. Oh, thank you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's nice. You give me a towel too? Sure, that goes inside, see? 
Right. You know, After we take off the tape. <laughs> <laughs> she spread that, that on your lap. And well, that's not nice. Use it. Use it. I know what you do. I'll getting. go out there at work. Well, and, you know, don't look right. right was, here. I'm glad I went and mentioned this about my birthday. You know. <laughs> <laughs> hint, hint. We love you from Mother. <laughs> mother. Hint. It's always been a blessing to have a son like you, a son who's thoughtful and kind and who makes life happy, too. That's why this greeting holds much more than just a wish alone. It's filled with all the special love that will always be your own. So just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks, Mama. Well, are you sure you thank me for that? Uh-huh. Hey, I already, I already got a birthday card uh, here's a week a and a half ago. Here's a little something. A week and a half ago. That mom got to go with the card. A broom? <laughs> <laughs> a shovel, man. Fancy one. Oh, my. Thanks, Mom. Isn't that neat? My, my favorite color, gold. Well, we <laughs> heard that you had square ones, but she uh -huh. thought you maybe would like a pointed one. No, I need a pointed one. Yes, yeah, she did. Rounded one. Isn't that neat? That's rounded one. I thought you'd like a hand. Grounded and square. Isn't that hand. nice, right now? You, boy, you I take see. care of that. You take care of that, and you, he works out there all the time around that house. Mama, I polish it every day of my life. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I wax it. Just remember, China. your mother loves you. Yeah, right. Thanks. She's but I do go down to see the other keep family. Work. Keep oh. working. Keep working you're hard. You're a real family. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what he's always saying. Keep yeah. working hard. Yeah. yeah. Well. Well, Jack, my brother-in-law, uh, he and I, we went ahead and, uh, and filled all the little holes with special cement, and then we got linoleum and put that good tar down to hold it down, you know, and, and that was a real and, easy uh, floor. And he, really took, uh, he took Remember two guys out there. He took Larry, my nephew, so. and, uh, and Jeff, and they dug a manhole. Yeah, we dug under the, the house floor. to find For that half leak. A day they and when we got under there, there was no leak. <laughs> it was down the other way. And Jeff got in there and he said, Grandpa, there's not any pipes in here. Yeah. I said, Jeff, you better look again. I, th I thought he just didn't look. And I cried. Okay, go. Okay. There was oh. a man that... And he had uh, had a beautiful horse that he worked uh, and made crops with. And the old horse got old. And he said, oh, we'll have to sell that old horse for, you know, for horse meat. And then he said... Oh, no, I'm too attached to that horse. I can't do that. I can't let my horse go. I'll just turn him in my green pastures and let him stay in the shade and rest by the pond for the water. Mm -hmm. So he just, he would whistle to the old horse and the horse would neigh and the horse would come running. He was so attached to him. He loved him. So just nice. loved that old horse so much. Every day, you know, he would go out and the old horse was getting real old. And one day he went out and he was gone. And he said, well, where could he be? And he said, oh, no. He said, there's a big hole out, a big well, an abandoned well, and it's pretty big. And he went, he said, I've got to go see. And he had fallen down into this well, deep. He said, oh, no, I have to go get my gun and shoot him. He said, he can't get out, his legs will be broken. I think he's really hurt bad, and I don't want him to suffer. But he got the gun, and he came, and he couldn't. He said, I just cannot shoot my horse. I love this horse. I cannot do it. So he, he went. He said, well, what can I do? Well, he said, I can't get him out, so I'll just bury him. <laughs> so he goes, and he gets his shovel, Grandpa's shovel. And he goes, and he throws dirt in on his back, and the dirt just falls off, and he trumps the dirt. So he threw in more dirt and more dirt and more dirt, and he just tromped it down. So he just kept trying to bury the horse, and he kept tramping up. The well filled up, and the old horse walked out. <laughs> <laughs> and the moral to this story, there's a lesson in this story. If you fall in a well or you get down real low, don't give up. Just put a lot of dirt under your feet and all the trash and dirt under your feet and rise above it, and be an overcomer for Jesus Christ. Amen.
It's got this guy that's talking wait, about... Wait, 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 wait. Mary. Got it. Are you done? Ready? Yeah, this man was talking about, you know, talking to God. And he said... And he was a new Christian, like, you know, he, and they were telling him about all the benefits that he had have that being a Christian and, and you know, being saved and everything. And he said, well, uh, I'll just go ahead and talk to God. And he said, God, he says, uh, time don't mean nothing to you, does it? He says... I mean, like a, a second could be like a two million years. It wouldn't wouldn't matter, would it? And God says, well, "Yeah, I guess that's right." You know, right? It doesn't it doesn't really mean anything to me? Time doesn't mean anything. And he says, "Well, uh, and uh, like uh, two million dollars, that wouldn't mean nothing to you either. Just be like a, you know, like nothing either." You know, he says, "Yeah, it doesn't really mean money doesn't mean anything to that about it at all, anyhow." And he said, well, God, he said, would you give me $2 million? And he says, give me a second. <laughs> Million years. Okay, so anyway, this, uh, this lady, this evangelist, you know, he always prayed for the sick, you know, and they had this healing service, you know. And some of these evangelists think, you know, well, they predict, you know, what's wrong with you and all this. And this lady came up and she said, well, I want prayer because I have a problem. And he said, lady, I know what your problem is. The Lord just showed me that you have cataracts. And he said, so oh, she said, oh, you're mistaken. Said, I've got a Cadillac. <laughs> 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 said, I've got a, no, I've got a Lincoln. Yeah, she said, instead of the cat, she said, oh, no, I don't have a cataract. She said, I've got a Lincoln. <laughs> Mike, do you no. have a story for us today? No. No? no? How about you, Mom? You got no, a story I for us? Oh, yes, you've got Come on, tell, tell us one. She can tell you a long one. Which she just forgot one. them all. That's all. Okay. Okay. How many children did you have, Grandma? Six. You had six children? Uh -huh. What's their names? What's uh -huh. the oldest one? Rahel. Rahel? Uh -huh. And what's the next How did he get his name? Laverne. Who? Laverne. Lindsay. Laverne. What's La Laverne what? Lindsay. What's your middle name? Well, I can't think. You forgot? <laughs> okay. I forgot. <laughs> How old is Laverne? I don't know. <laughs> that is my middle name. <laughs> Laverne. 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 Laverne is my middle name. It's, isn't it Lorraine Laverne? No, no, no. What's no. my first name? What is Laverne's first name? She has to Viola. write it. Oh, there Viola. you go. Viola. Viola. How did she get her name, Viola Laverne? Your Tell us all about her, it. Her, her name. Huh? Your daddy gave you your Look name. Look at the camera, Grandma. What? Who's the next kid? Well, how did he? What did he name Forrest. her though? Forrest. Grandma. Forrest is the next one. Mm -hmm. Then what's the next one? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, you've got... Starts with a D. D. Huh? Give me a D. Give me an A. Give me a B. Give me an I. I and a D. How about David? That's spelled... David. All right. David what? Hell. What was his middle name? David... I don't know. David... A little. Remember, he was named after his grandpa? Middle name? I don't remember him getting named after his grandpa. <laughs> David Abner. <laughs> Abner. Abner. David Wasn't Abner. That his grandpa's name. What a nice show. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a dandy, isn't it? I get to use that. And then who's next? Okay, David, and then who? Then David, and Carl. then who? Carl. Carl who? Yeah. Carl Jr. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Carl Jr. <laughs> Carl Jr. <laughs> Albert. <laughs> Delbert. <laughs> Carl Delbert, okay. <laughs> and what's the next one? Well, it's a Alice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alice. What's her middle name? May. Alice. All right. Marie. Alice. May. <laughs> you said Marie. <laughs> okay, who's next? I don't know. <laughs> who's, who's the next one? Well, tell me, Mom. 
How, how did Floyd Raymond get his name? Where did it come from? I don't know. How it come from? It how like, come you, you named him Floyd? Floyd Raymond. Right. But where why did, did you get, you get the get Floyd? The, right. Where did Floyd come from? Where did the name Floyd come from? Well, I got, had a cousin named Floyd. Huh? I don't know which one that is. Mm -hmm. And also, didn't, didn't you tell me that, that your dad, um, your husband's brother was named Lloyd? And Dad wanted to name him Lloyd, and you, you compromised and said Floyd. Name him Floyd. Uh -huh. right. Was this a boy Floyd. was this a was this a favorite cousin? Yeah. Okay. And how did you get the name Raymond? Well, I don't know. My dad's name is Raymond. Raymond. His daddy's name Raymond. Well, then that's probably why he got his name Raymond, huh? Howard. All right. Well, what about uh, Laverne, Viola Laverne? Well, that was his Where did Viola come from? I'm a mixed up mess. Uh, well, that was his daddy's girlfriend. Ooh, Viola. <laughs> it was understood that she would name me Viola under one condition that he never call me that. And did he ever call you never Viola? Never call me Viola. And where did the name Laverne that was come named, from? That was named, see, Viola was named after his ex-girlfriend. Uh-huh. And Mom had a girlfriend at school when she was growing up, and she named me after Laverne. Uh-huh. After La her girlfriend Laverne. Okay, well, what about Forrest Lee? Now, let's hear about that. Now, that's an unusual that name, is. isn't it? Well, he's just an honorary little brat. Oh, sure. we didn't want her. What's his name? How did he get his name, Forrest well, Lee? He's named after his Mildred's uh, husband. No. Well, which name? Lee. Lee? Mm -hmm. Mildred's Herbert husband. Lee? Herbert Lee. So you named oh, Forrest Lee? Lee after Herbert Lee? Yeah. Why did you name Aunt him Millie's Forrest? husband. What about Forrest? How come you named him Forrest? That's all I know. But why did you name him Forrest? Did you pick the name or did Dad? Maybe he's born in the woods. I don't know where he was born, but he got the name of Lee. It goes by Woody, huh? But yeah. but tell us how he got the name Forrest. Well, they started calling him Woody. Why did you name him Forrest, Mom? Lee. Yes. Why? Why did you name him Forrest? Why did you give him that name? I don't know. That's what he chose. Do you think yet why you why you named him Forrest? No, I have no idea. What, think now. Why did you like that name? Well, I don't know why. I mean, why why you named him Forrest? No, I don't have an idea. <laughs> why did you name Forrest Forrest? Forrest Lee. Why? Why did you name him Forrest? Well, his, your Aunt Mildred wanted him to name Forrest Lee. No, she never did say Forrest. Why did you name him Forrest? Well, I don't know. You didn't <laughs> like that name? <laughs> did you, did you <laughs> like that name, Mom? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> How well did you like it? I have no idea. She ran. <laughs> was there a forest around at the time? Were there a lot of trees in that area where you no, were living? Not that I know. Oh, you must have been yeah. part Indian. You a part Indian. Well, That's a good reason. He probably was part Indian, where so she probably saw a tree and named him after nature. Where was, where yes. was he born? What town? Where was Forrest born? Riverside. Riverside, California. Oh, river, beside the river. Well, there oh, there were there. there were trees growing by the river. A yeah. big forest. Yeah. Did you really like that name, Mom? Outside yeah. the hospital, she said they had a lot of trees. You like that name, she huh? She told me one time. I don't know if that's That's nice. what your Aunt Mildred said. She your Aunt that. Mildred didn't. Aunt Mildred wasn't no, there. She liked the name Lee from her husband, yeah. Herbert Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you named Forrest just because Forrest because you liked the name, huh? That's all. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Now let's okay. let's go to Laverne. I think Laverne has a little story to tell us about Forrest. Well, one time I went to Penn. I think it was Panorama City, where they lived next door. Forrest lived, and and Emily lived next door, and then they had the um, the house that lived next door. To, I mean, the house that was now I'm getting as bad as mom, <laughs> but the house that was next door to where they lived uh, 
was his business, but I didn't say pest control out front. And so I managed to work my way through two dogs in a high cyclone fence and knocked on the door and the lady says, come in. And when I went in, well, they had sort of like an office in there. And so I said, is Forrest here? And, and she said, what? And I said, is, is Forrest here, Forrest Helm? And she said, well, there's nobody here by that name. And I said, well, is this the Helm's pest control? And she said, yes. And I said, well, then I would like to talk to Forrest. And, well, there's nobody here by that name. And so <laughs> something's going on here. So I finally listened for a minute, and lo and behold, in the other room, he was, a uh, fellow was talking on the phone. Sure sounded like Forrest to me. So I, uh, I kind of peeked around the corner of the <laughs> door, and lo and behold, there was my brother. And so I went around the corner, and I said, Hi, Forrest. And she says, she, the gal says, That's Woody. I said, What? <laughs> Never heard the name Woody before in my life. <laughs> I said, Well, okay. And so, and I said, Well, as far back as I can remember, his name was Forrest. <laughs> and I'm his sister. Oh! Um, but anyway, that's why he got his nickname. He uh, nicknamed himself Woody. I remember when I first came out here to California to live, and uh, people kept talking about Woody, Woody this, and Woody that. <laughs> and I'm thinking, gee, you know, who is this Woody? And uh, finally, you know, everybody acted like I should know who this Woody was. <laughs> and finally, one day I said, well, who is Woody? <laughs> And That's then I your found brother. out it was my brother, yeah. Forrest. Mm -hmm. Yep, and Forrest and I kind of helped Mom give the name David. I can't remember which one of us or mm -hmm. what. But anyway, we kind of liked the name David. Uh -huh. But she sure added one, and she put Abner on it. But Abner! Sure that's what your dad wanted. Well, that was, uh, that was my dad's, that was my grandpa, Grandpa Helm. His name was Abner Helm. Abner Helm. Helm. Uh-huh. That's mm -hmm. right. So that's how he got the name. That's pretty neat. So, Mom, what about uh, Carl? How did Carl get his name? Carl Delbert. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Mm -hmm. I think now. I named him that, I guess. Yeah, we, we think you? you did. But. She named him that, but and, and we never did figure out where she got the Delbert. Well, do you know where we got the where she got the Carl? No, she just did got. Did you live next door to Carl Jr. or something? No, <laughs> no, we didn't have Carl Jr. then. No, I don't oh. think so. You like the name Carl, huh? Yeah, that's a pretty name. And it, then we came to Alice. Oh, oh, wait a minute! I heard. Now I'm not sure if this is true, but I heard that the name Delbert came from Uncle Bert. That Dad wanted to name him Bert after Uncle Bert. And Mom Gilbert. said she would go well, Gilbert. Gilbert. Wasn't was that, that Gilbert? True or not? Wasn't his name Gilbert instead of Bert? Yeah, it was. It was Gilbert. It was. But I think he wanted yeah, to name him Bert or Gilbert, and Delbert. she wanted she went with Delbert. Is that why, Mom, or not? I don't know. Now Alice. Well, you told me that story a long time ago, I so remember. I'm thinking maybe. Do you it's remember true. how Alice? She always changes this. That's how I know that it's wrong. Which okay. Means, how did Alice? How did her? Alice? I know you gave it my to name. Her. How did I get my name? I said Alice Faye. No, I said Alice Faye, and you said no. Let's make it Alice May. <laughs> That's what happened. And I said, I don't like that. <laughs> I want Alice Faye. And she says, No, it's going to be Alice May. But she changed the M A Y to M A E. Is that right, Mom? Yeah, that's yeah. right. I, mean, I could have ended up with she the name of Alice Faye. Alice Faye. That sounds um, like a movie star. It was. That's it why was. I wanted her name that. Yeah, Alice Faye. I, 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 I like Alice Faye. Faye. Mm -hmm. Is that I'm why they always called me Faye? Yeah. I'm going to ask you, how old is your baby daughter now? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. How old is she? Well, give me a guess. She's old 30. enough. <laughs> old enough. 50. And she's 50. Oh, guess what? We're at the end of this tape. Are it's you flashing? End, end, I would end. close down, That's too, it. if I, I had to get my age. Yeah.